The former head of the World Bank, Paul Wolfowitz, has likened China's economic revolution to Germany or Japan's emergence as an economic power at the beginning of the 20th century. Speaking to business leaders in Sydney, Mr Wolfowitz sidestepped the debt ceiling deal before moving on to the rise of China and the deep-rooted problems for its leaders. And I will now predict with some confidence it will pass the Senate and the President will sign it. So there. <laughs> That's the end of my predictions. If I talk about economics later, just bear in mind that it's a science only in the sense that meteorology, that is weather forecasting, is also a science. <laughs> in the absence of popular legitimacy, China's government depends on its economic performance. And that economic performance, of course, has so far delivered impressively. But like a person riding a bicycle who has to keep pedaling or the bicycle will fall over, China's economy has to keep growing in order to sustain the legitimacy of the regime. So China is profoundly dependent on, a peace, on peaceful world trade and on its access to world markets, and that is a good thing. That same rapid economic growth that buys an important degree of legitimacy and stability for China's current rulers also brings with it a large and growing middle class that is increasingly resentful of arbitrary rule. Mr. Wolfowitz, a former U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense and one of the architects of the war in Iraq, believes future cuts to American government spending will fall disproportionately on the military.